Now that I have the Isu device forged, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Last I checked, he seemed pretty power-hungry. I don't think he wants to share his throne. Behind every great man is a great woman. I can make Atlas see that, the Castis. I'm not sure a good the Castis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, the Castis. Let's go. I could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. Elpis! What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... Uh, no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Vicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games, but Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? Ah! Ah! What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! <laughs> What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. So this is your judgment, Vicastis? That all my sons are to die? I didn't kill- But your actions allow this to happen. Did you not help this human? And are all my sons not dead? This was my fault! I take full responsibility for my actions. This could not have happened without the Dicastis. The very one I appointed. I will need to ponder what this means for our cycle. Still, you bested Atlantis's highest Archon. By our laws, that means you may rule. But beware of the ramifications these will have on our society. At 
Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still, I didn't want to start my reign this way. You started your reign by saving my life. Normally, I do the saving. Hopefully, this is the start of me saving many lives here in Atlantis. Thank you, the Castis.